Alright, here we go, he's walking. Okay, let's just uh, step through the... Alright, since he's not looking at me, I'm gonna quickly... Oh my god, hurry up. Ooh, let me in. Okay, we're safe. Now, this is the first of the creepy inmates. I think this one liked his forks and his knives, which we're going to use later. Actually, yeah, I'm going to use this guy, I think, because very simple, his shit's right there. No, it's not hidden or anything. Now, this guy doesn't have anything hidden. Good, okay. We snuck into the kitchen and found some bread, but that fat man was there with his forks and knives. He's the one who shouldn't be allowed to wander around. Yeah, because he'll cut you up. Actually, I think he gets blamed. I'm not sure. One of the inmates gets blamed for her death because the hag isn't really supposed to exist in their world. Nobody believes in them. It's just a children's story. Well, I'm going to leave that door open for now. It's probably going to get closed, but... Yeah. Alright, where did that guy go? He's here? Huh. I don't know where he is. Thanks for the uh, crying. There it is. Hey buddy, you gonna walk past me? Please walk past me. Alright, I'm gonna unlock this door. Unlocking the door really fast. Please don't. Okay, good. Alright, uh, this room is really creepy. Um, I don't know which of the inmates this is actually. Moss. Oh yeah, it's the one with the candle. I don't know. You, you would have read the notes if you were interested. And you'll know who it is. Oh my. I think we've just ended our streak of not being seen. No, I think we're okay. Maybe. Possibly. Please don't kill me. I'm going to kill this one to show you. Quick save. Three flashbangs equals a death. And we're gonna... Because he was being a bit annoying, so that's why we killed him. And also to show you. But yeah. Might come back here now that... We'll definitely come back to these three to get the item because he's dead. So he won't be patrolling. Now, uh, the eatery area has another one of the items, I believe. And some loot in the middle. So let's open this door. Grab... Oh yeah, that's a plate from one of them, I believe. Or maybe something else. I don't know. Oh god, that's creepy. Backstepping. Um. Okay, now, where are the rest of the cells? Um, I'm a little confused. Uh, this is back here. Maybe it's over here. I will find them. Just give me a moment. Ah, possibly no. Once I saw a man in one of the basins, all wrapped up in wet bandages. He heard me come in and started making screaming noises. I think he wanted me to help him, but I was too afraid. Yeah, that's nice. Um, this guy can eat his dirt if he wants. There's no body there, which makes it all the creepier. Uh, there might be an item in here somewhere, but I can't be bothered. Um, honestly. It's not important. That's the least important part of the level, the loot. The more important part is how fucking creepy it is, and the story of Shalebridge Crater. Um, I had plenty of flashbangs. I'm wondering if I should just kill a few of them. Now, this is not a bit good position. If he sees me... the other one here? No, I don't think he did. Okay. This might be one of, one of the items is. Whatever. Um. Ah, so we're back here. Okay. Let's jump over here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pause recording for a moment while I find the rest of the cells. 
Alright, I found them. Uh, this is where we killed that guy in the cell. We just gotta go around this way. Oh, shut up crying noises. Alright, now I think this is where one of the guys is in a cell. So we gotta be extra careful. I'm getting a little less scared now that I'm into it, you know? I'm growing some balls. One of them, uh... Ah, uh, yeah. This is the... He was probably a hammerite or something. He likes gears and shit. I don't know. It's uh, quite creepy. I haven't read the lore in a while. But that's why I said to pause it. You should definitely read the lore. I did read it my first few goes through. I am playing this at night, by the way. So it's rather dark. Yeah, and it look a little uneven. Someone did some amateur work. Ah, hello. So yeah, we're taking away these blocks. The staff blamed him for what happened to me. They were wrong. Ah, so this person got blamed. The guy who likes sky watching. Okay. Yeah, uh, basically, yeah, they blamed an inmate for the hag murdering her because she just, yeah, quite creepy. Um, I think that's the last... There might be a secluded cell over here, maybe. Number nine. That, I think, sorry. Number eight. Hmm. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, okay. This might be the one with someone in it. I know there's a zombie around here somewhere. <laughs> Shudder at the thought of this place. Okay, now for number eight. Hmm. None of the cells had a thing in it. I was really thinking they did. Oh, and a mirror. Oh my. What is with people and putting out of tune music on these things? I guess it's broken and she's creepy, so, you know. Probably scratched the record or something, knowing an inmate. I hate it. Okay, so now that we've got her night gown, we're gonna go burn it at the. Um, the. Oh, wait, here we go. This might be the rest of the cells. There he is. The one with someone in it. This is the bird person, I think. Hey, big guy, don't kill me. Oh, have I let you out? Oh no, you just want to look at your bird, buddy. Okay, you look at your bird. Just turn around, buddy, okay? Oh my, he nearly looked at me. Okay. See you later. You go, you go have a look over there. Um, I'm just gonna squeeze past. Don't worry about me. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just walking by. Okay, buddy, head back in there. Good for you. Yeah, I know, you heard that. I might. I may have to kill him. If he's gonna be a nuisance. He's gonna be a nuisance. Okay. I will show you the holy water. I don't know if it'll even one hit him. Hey big guy. Oh no, he's walked off. Well, if he sees this, we'll throw holy water in his face. Well, that was particularly fast unlock. For shame, you re reused a sound effect from earlier. Oh, you can forgive them for that. They made a good level. Alright. Now, where's this? 
Okay, so we've, uh, oh my. Did he see me? He's an idiot, he didn't see me. Uh, this level would probably be even more scary if you were playing on the highest difficulty. Just a slight amount scarier. Because that would mean that you would have, um, higher uh, awareness. It's just very slightly. Um, I am not sure. Oh, I think this is the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think he heard me. Oh, well, we're going all the way down this time, which is a good thing. Okay. Luckily, he's pretty deaf to elevator noises. Alright. You know, we'll kill this guy with holy water. Three, two, one. <laughs> Holy water kills zombies in one hit. No exception, I don't think. So yeah, uh, let's burn the stairs. Let's grab those first. You did it. My nightgown's gone. But the cradle remembers more than I thought. You can't get it all here. You have to go into the past, into the cradle's memories. It's the only way. You'll have to pretend to be one of the patients, so the cradle won't see you. Each of the patients from Whitehall had a favorite toy that they liked. You can use them as keys to go into the cradle's memories. Find one of those toys, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna start with whatever toy's closest. I probably won't get caught, so I won't have to redo it. If you get caught, they take your toy away from you. Um, so yeah. Quick save, and let's go find ourselves a toy and then go to that cage. Ah, well, she'll tell us that. Um, okay, let's not go that way. Actually, it led to us go that way. Good idea. Shortcut. Oh, hey, big guy. You go be creepy somewhere else, shall we? Oh, no. Cool. Um, let's go find the... Over here? Yes. Is this one of them? Oh, it, I think... I'm not sure what that is. I, it might be a place you can reset. I don't know. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's take this guy's spoons like we said we would. I think he used to eat with those in the meal hall. You just picked up is a key to the cradle's memories. Now you have to figure out where to bring it. There's a special place for each toy. When you put the toy in the right place, you'll enter the past. Oh, oh, the cage is to reset. You've got to take it to where it is, then you go into the past. Okay, I figured it out now. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's get into a dark place and do this. This is what everything looks like, the way the cradle remembers it. It's like a stitch in time. You can't die here because you're inside a patient. But if the staff catch you, they'll take away your toy and you'll have to find another one. Okay. Now will you get my diary? In the real world, it's all torn apart and we never find all the pages. But in the past, it's just the way I left it, up in the nursery tower. Please find it, and burn it in the morgue. Okay. I'll do that for you, young lady. Okay, now there's gonna be guards in various places. The nursery tower is over here, I believe. Let's wait for this guy to do his thing. Okay, he's gonna turn around, okay. Uh, now, what's that? Observatory. I think it's over here. If not, it's that way. Ah, uh, this is the morgue. Ah, no. I'm an idiot. I nearly avoided finding it for some stupid reason because I'm an idiot. Okay. Nursery Tower's here. Let's go and say hello. And grab that diary. <laughs> 